Hello and welcome to the Harmony SMP. My name is Weird and Bearded, and today we are over on top of the Industrial District storage room. So you can see my mangrove farm over there, which has been working hard. Today we're going to try to get a few more farms in. We're going to have the witch farms going in all around us. Maybe another farm as well. We'll see what time we have. But first of all, I want to get myself connected to the nether. As much fun as it is flying over that ocean, it would be nice to have a quicker way in and out. And I have a little idea for where my portal's going to be, because I hadn't really thought about my portal before this. Didn't know what I was going to do with it, but my thinking is, on the second floor, we have a special thing on the server for having portals of unusual sizes. So I think if I have it facing directly outwards, I get rid of those four blocks and have the portal be directly here and probably even put those four blocks behind. I mean, I'm now on the outside. Let's, let's get ourselves back in. Okay, I've got the coordinates noted. Let's see if this thing lights. Perfect. Right, I'm gonna to head to the nether side, build up another portal, and these should connect. Let's see if they connect. Hopefully. Perfect. I am happy with that. A nice one wide portal. But that is obviously not the only thing we're going to be doing in today's episode. We're only a couple of minutes in. We have chests down there. We have everything we need here. For four witch farms. Now, the design has actually changed quite a bit. Which means there's a slight issue, but not a major one. It actually takes less resources than it used to, significantly less. So the roof that we built over here is now way too big. So I'm going to have to redo these two bridges, but I don't think I'm going to do that today. Let's just get these farms built up. And then we'll figure out everything else at a later time. But it's time for a time lapse. We have all four of the witch farms now in place, so one in each corner. I am working on a fairly simple system, we're just using a timer system with shifting floors, we'll have a look at that in just a moment. But I think they look quite good, again once everything is connected up, 
it will all look better. I quite like the fact that there's the redstone on the outside. So yes, we come along, we flick this lever up, so that turns the lights off so that witches can spawn in there. It also starts off those pistons that you can hear. So if I go... Uh, let's just go up to the roof of this, because I know that this will be far enough away. They should start spawning in there. Hopefully. If we go into free cam mode. I see the gasp of things dying, the particles. We get some witches falling down. So if we head right inside, you can see, as I said, it's just a simple shifting floor system. Currently, the drops don't go anywhere. They're just being spat out. So if I were to head right down to the bottom. We see a load of stuff on the ground. But we are going to have it all connected into the central system once the central system is fully built up. So let's go turn this thing off before it just creates a load of items. Because we are now close to being able to build the storage system. Obviously we need hoppers for which we now have a wood farm and an iron farm way over there. Of course we're going to need a lot of redstone for which we now have the witch farms. But we also want to put everything into shulker boxes. And now I need to build a shulker farm. And I need to collect the resources. And I like big farms so this is going to involve nearly 40 stacks of obsidian. I, I'm gonna just head to the end of the beacon put a film on and we'll see how this goes. I'm up on the roof this is going to be a nice place for me to build from or at least keep my resources over. So you can see we are by the mangrove farm we've got a couple of the witch farms there and a lot of resources this is a big farm. So just I'm just going to run through the chest you can have a quick look at everything that's in there there's a lot of glass there is a lot of buttons and there is a lot of obsidian that I had to gather. And then we've got another chest at the end, just of the base resources that we're going to be needing for scaffolding, stuff like that. I was hoping that I could do this in some updates, but unfortunately, I'm kind of running out of time to get everything recorded. So we're going to do this in another time lapse, and then hopefully there's going to be enough time at the end for a little bit of shulker wrangling. But for now, let's get this thing built.
Well, that looks magnificent. I do love how this farm looks, especially the nether side. We'll get onto the nether side in a moment. But let's have a quick talk about how this works. I'm going to go into free cam mode. It's going to be so much easier. So right at the top, we have portals. We have six of them because this is quite a large farm. I want to get six different shulkers going at once. Next to them all is a dropper. The dropper will throw an item through. That's going to activate things on the nether side. It's going to bring through a shulker when a shulker has died. That shulker will then wait down here by the minecart. When the minecart gets set off, we'll talk about that in a moment. It passes by this detector rail, which brings out another shulker. It then drops all the way down to here, where it can drop the shulker box here. And it then makes its way back up to the top. Now, over here, we have ten snow golems. Ten in each of the pods. So, when the farm turns on, this trap door will flip up. They'll see the shulker and they'll start attacking. So, the shulker will try to get revenge. But the shulker shell will just hit the shulker. It teleports and duplicates. blah de blah de blah Sometimes it will teleport without duplicating. At which point... Well, when they're shooting, there's a target block here because a lot of them miss. But if they don't hit the target block for a while, this redstone signal is going to deteriorate, and that sends a signal back up to the top to get another shulker into place. And then when they're um, duplicating and teleporting away, they should teleport onto the glass, go into portals, and end up on the nether side of things. So that's how all of this side works. Now, this took about 10 hours to build, and this video goes live in less than nine hours, and I haven't started editing yet. I have not had time to build the nether side. This took so much longer than expected, but on my Sunday live stream, so that's going to be the day after this comes out, we're going to be building the nether side. We're going to have other members of the Harmony server on as well. It's all going to be lovely. Fortunately, I had all of these just from earlier. What I need for the nether side is just in those chests. That is all. But in the meantime, that's really all I've got time for. We've got a new portal connected. We have our four witch farms. We have half a shulker farm. By the time the next episode starts, we should have the rest of the shulker farm. And we can start working on the actual storage system. Start getting everything connected up. Get to a point where I'm not having to do lots of technical stuff every single episode. But in the meantime, if you like the episode, please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Weird and Bearded. I will see you all next time.